What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Matthew Walter. We are out here in Simi Valley, California at Wood Ranch Golf Club. This place is pure. Very excited. We're just gonna be doing a 1v1 straight up match play event here on the channel, nine holes. And Matt, what is the current standings as far as matches won and lost? I think it's a record book, but I know I'm not winning. Okay. So today is a must make to get it close. I think it's three to one. Okay. My memory. I think there was a half point that was arguably up for debate. And then there was like a Medicus chip off, which we're not going to talk about. The Medicus chip off was pretty <laughs> epic. Matt is not a fan. However, we're just going to head straight into this match. This is going to be fun. It is really windy out here. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the wind. We're going to try to, you know, block the wind as much as possible. But hopefully the audio comes in well. First hole, 437, par four, little dog leg to the right. I'll show you right here. Let's go. All right, here is the first hole of the match. You can see it bends around to the right. My target aiming point is gonna be that bunker right there that you see kind of straight through the fairway. I hit a four iron and the wind is going from left to right. That was hit well. He's trying to cut the corner. Carried the bunker with tree wood. Good luck, Zach. A majestic form. We'll take that on the first swing right there. Let's go. All right, so I got 143. Pretty much in perfect shape right here. Honestly, wouldn't have wanted to hit much more club. As you can see right there, we've got about 15 yards left to the hazard. And right over there, Matt, if you want to zoom in, oh, yeah. I don't know if three woods is the play. What are you talking again. about, Zach? That looks like a perfect layup. <laughs> He's got about two yards. Only only okay. golf professionals have the, the, the brass to go for that kind of a shot <laughs> and only perform it once in a thousand. <laughs> I'm going with gaff wedge here. Little left to right breeze, maybe helping a little bit. So I'm going to aim at that tree. Let it kind of fade on over. Gap wedge from 143. What, what is this? Steroids, people. Check them. Mm. A little short. A little short. I think we're fine. How far you got here, sir? Oh, it's a great time for your range finder to not like you. Uh, 102. 102. Does he have a stance? I think he does. I think he has just enough room. Luckily for me, it doesn't involve getting my belly out of the way, so I can make it work. All right, got lob wedge. Don't blow a little right, so I'm going to go for that tree and see if we get If it goes, it's on a great line. I have no idea where the second hole is. I'm trying to find it. I don't I'm know. A little, I'm a little paranoid. I, I like that you're already focused on the next hole. Well, I mean, I'm going to chip this in and move on. But Gotcha. Gotcha. A little uphill slope. We both ended up a little short here. I am, like, right there. I think I was playing more uphill than we gave it credit for. I think I chunked it. Okay. Or that. <laughs> So we're, still, we're still counting it when you hit the pin, right? I still Absolutely counts. not. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Bradford. A solid 40 to 50 feet for Brady. Up the hill. Probably moving towards us as it finishes. Good speed. Good speed. Thanks, sir. Oh. Speed racer, the brake. <laughs> Three wheel from five feet. Come on. 
never a doubt. Uh, folks, you gotta be careful, these greens are fast. That would be one up through one, sir. All right, so we had to skip a few holes. We skipped holes two and three just to give us a little gap. We're just playing nine holes, so we are gonna be skipping around a little bit. We're on number four, par four, 366. There's a bunker on the right side, roughly 250 yards to carry. I'm gonna go with four iron. It is a helping wind, and I'm gonna aim like just left of that bunker. All right, so that is the bunker right there that I was talking about, and I'm gonna be aiming just left of it. I think if I hit it really well, I should be able to carry it with the four iron. Should be good right there. Matt going with three iron here. Uh, downwind, I'm going four. Four iron? But not nearly as aggressive. Hit down the left. Oh. All right. So overshot the fairway a little bit. Zach threaded the needle. Going back and looking at it, I probably would have been fine flying that, been way down in there. But you know, fun the bunker, 140, see what happens. Let's hit solid. Where did you the right? Might be in the other bunker. Alright, I've got 108 yards left, just on the edge of the rough. I'm going with the sand wedge. Wind is off the right. Can't really tell if it's hurting. I don't think it's really hurting much, so this should be just a full sand wedge. We'll take that all day long. All righty, I am in great shape right there. Roughly 12, 15 feet, putting back down the hill. We've got Matt in the bunker. Let's see what his bunker game's got today. That was pretty good. Just released a little bit on you. That's good. Thank you, sir. We're in with four. Dude, good roll. That's good. So Matt is currently two down through two. Lot of match left. We're on to the fifth hole out here, par four, 431. Even though it is kind of lengthy, it's pretty tight up there. Not really a driver hole, so I'm gonna be going with a four iron. Matt's going with a four or a three iron, I'm not sure yet. And I'm gonna be aiming just left of the right bunker Probably the green side left bunker is going to be my target. Here's what we're faced with. Bunker down the right side is 290 yards to carry. I'm going to make sure I stay left of that, aiming at that left green side bunker right there. little right of where I wanted it, but it did hang on to that right side of the fairway and stayed short of the bunker. Right. Okay. That was saucy. Heading down the right side. And we are right next to each other. Cart golf. Okay. All right, I've got 177 left. I've got an eight iron. Wind is off the left. Like I said, ended up in decent shape. Matt is just a little bit ahead, 170 from Matt. I think he's probably going with a nine iron. I don't know, it's I just a got a feeling. Very safe bet. Ooh. Dude, that wind is strong. Yeah, it's pushing hard right. That's definitely not on the green. And 
He is heading towards me. Watch. You're working on your bunker game today. Dude, the sand is legit out here, by the way. It is. Yeah, big, big fan. Working away from me, probably breaking a little to the left. Definitely need to be precise with the pace. See if we can't knock this in, at least knock it close. He did it. Let me in the door. Oh, dude, that looks so good for so long. And tap this in. And with the par. Not in the bunker. Ooh, this looks really good. Are you kidding me? There's no way. There is no way. What? Dude, I thought that was in. Very nicely done, sir. That was big. I needed that one to get drop. That's what I needed. <laughs> you did. So, but I couldn't afford not to make a four, so there we go. <laughs> Great four. We're both in with pars here on number five through three. All right, so according to my calculations, we're 540, par five, and I finally am seeing a chance to hit driver. But it's into the wind and going right, and that could quite not possibly be the worst wind for me to ever <laughs> want to hit driver in. So just come on, Walter. All righty, there is water down the left. You can see the green sitting back to the left as well. Target aiming point is going to be uh, that far right tree you see there. Yes, we don't want to go much left of that because I don't know how far it is to carry that water. Uh, according to my calculations, as I do my math and the numbers up here, the water goes the whole way. Oh, Matt is flirting with the water. He hit it well. Okay, I did not see a splash. I saw a bounce. Yeah, I think you're fine. Had to take advantage of the water. Hammer Town. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna hit it a whole lot better than that. That was pretty much right where I was aiming. Live by the sword, die by the sword. 270 into the wind. You didn't come here to lay up, did you? Nah. I finally get to hit driver and I get to hit through it. It's like how par five should be. It was hit well. Should be all right. Just a little Healy. 250 yards. I've got four iron here. It's a little bit of stinger time hitting into the wind. Should be pretty much a perfect number if I hit it well. If you could chunk it, it'd be awesome. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> I saw a bounce. I saw a bounce. I saw a bounce. That was uh, hit left. I was trying to fight it down, and that was definitely pulled. 50 yards. It's really hitting too bad here. No, I'm more worried about you know clipping the stake right here in front of me. But I love no, where your head's at. <laughs> I don't play golf. I teach it. Uh, 50 yards back in the wind, so that's going to help you stop the ball a little bit. So we're going to take advantage of that. Hopefully hit ourselves a decent little wet shot. Ooh, does he like it? Does he like it? Did he just make that? That's my Zach Radford dude right there. The thumbs up. Dude, that was pretty saucy right there. <laughs> From the gorse? Is this gorse? I don't know. Definitely not good. That's about as good as you can do from there. Not bad. Not bad. All right. For here. His fourth shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well played, Mr. Radford. Thanks, sir. Go. Dude, I am loving shipping around these greens. Just need to maybe work on my proximity to the hole. Yeah, that'd be good. Dude, first pin slammer of the day at a- Wait, wait, wait. For you, Andrew. Oh, Boom. I wasn't even prepared for that. I didn't even have it in frame. Boom. 
Well, you know what? I'll do it again for the people. The heel That's for clicker. you, buddy. That's for you. Welcome to Mount Vulture's Corner. That's uberly windy. Uberly, that's a good word. Uberly windy. Uberly windy. With a bench that might or may not fall backward on me. We got 170 uphill, wind going left to right. Bunker guarding up in front as we witness somebody in that trap. And uh, You don't I, want to be in it. No. I just got one back. Birdie felt good. One down. I got uh, got my family's name I'm trying to you know, defend at the moment. See, Matt is currently one down through four. Five holes remain. We've got a barn burner. See if we can't knock one close here. Right back up the hill. You said 160, probably playing, probably yeah, almost 180. Yeah, probably 175. 80. I'm gonna hit a little seven iron. Yeah. So you know, Zach, I've Play. never had a hole in one. Never? Never had a hole in one. It's probably not gonna start here. <laughs> Be an utter shame if I made a hole in one, kind of, because I can't see it like at all, the bottom of the pin. So it'd be kind of a lame way to make your first hole when you can't see it. But another news, Zach's channel will probably like explode like 40k. <laughs> <laughs> that was hit very solid. Needs to go right. Oh, and that bounce left. <laughs> that was not the bounce you were looking for. Or the wind going this way didn't do what I was hoping it for, and the cart girl. The car go just drove right by me. I can't even get a sandwich. All right, I'm actually going with an eight iron here. I think the wind's more straight across. It would help if you started left of the pin. And played seven iron. Seven iron might have been the play. Huh? All right, I think Matt had the right play there. Seven iron, he was playing uphill and I totally misjudged that wind. But if you're gonna miss it, this really isn't too bad. Kind of chipping back up the hill. I'd love to chip this in. Ooh, not bad. All righty, Matt just a little long there. Long left. Ooh, does he have hands of a surgeon? Oh boy. That is still trundling and trundling. Did he do it to me? Good roll. That's a little left. That's good. Ooh, got me. That was a big one there. All right, we are through five holes. I am currently two up. We have a super cool down the hill par four that is for sure drivable. Is Matt gonna be laying up though? On the scorecard, it says where we're gonna be playing it from like 310 roughly. However, that's not at all. You'll, I'll show you here real quick. So the fairway's down there, green's over there. However, you are cutting off a ton going straight at the green right there and it's downhill. Matt, what is this playing for us? It's, it's playing 275, downhill about 30 yards. So, so it's about a 240, 245 shot. To know. carry the water or to the hole? To the hole, to carry the water, about 230 shot. 230, so you're telling me it's a four iron for me. Yeah, it's, it's a four iron for me, man. Yeah, it's a four iron for you. Congratulations. <laughs> Matt is in one of the attitudes today. <laughs> I, was just, I was just making a comment, and he did not care for that whatsoever. Maybe it could just be that he's two down. We won't talk about that. However, this is a huge pivotal moment in the match. Yeah. I definitely didn't come here to lay up, so I, I'm hitting four iron. Luckily, he gets to go first, so I get to watch. That's really good. Did it make it? I have no idea. I, maybe. <laughs> I hit it. It was almost right at it. Ah, I tugged it. Well, he's going to be dry. He is going to be dry. Ah, I wanted that one too bad. 
All right, so Matt ended up just being a little left. Not bad, though. 60 yards. Yeah. So good opportunity to make birdie. Kind of <sighs> jumped on it more than I needed to. If I just hit it smooth, I'd been there. But you know how it is when you got like a big fly over water. We're going to have to go up there and see if mine got across. So far, I'm not really seeing anything up there. So not looking great. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to go assess that situation. Matt's got 60 yards. See if he can't knock it close. Oh, I think he likes it. Oh, great oh I think he likes it. Great kick. Mm. Great shot. All right, Matt Waller taking over the camera here. Have this for birdie. We hunted around for Radford over here. Not looking so hot. Happens to be a drop zone over here. Like, they this is knew. A very generous drop zone. Like, why not take advantage? I mean, right there, there's a sign. Right drop here. area. One in, two out. Hitting his third. Ooh. Dude, that was a phenomenal putt. And not to take anything away from that, if that didn't go, that might have been a little long. Wow. From that's my boy Radford, that's two out of three. Two heel clickers on the channel today. So before your heel click, I was gonna say that ball was gone gone if it didn't go, but it went. So not to take anything away from the putt. So what I'm hearing is it doesn't matter what you're saying right now. Matt birdies. has come up huge making birdies on two of the last three holes. I am one up currently through six holes. We have three holes remaining in this match. We're on to number nine, par four, dog leg to the left, 437 yards, and Matt is very excited. Finally gets hit a driver on a par four. Let's go. So here's what we are faced with, bending around to the left. Target aim and point is gonna be just inside the tree line on the left. Ball like that, we're gonna see a rooster tail <laughs> as this ball leaves. Oh, could be good. I don't know. You just nicked a couple leads. I don't know how far left it goes. That was a little more left than intended. All right, I opened the door for Radford again. A beauty drawing should be perfect. I have no idea though. Dude, I have no idea either, but for me to hit a baby draw like that, I'm super pumped. I almost don't even care where that ended up. All right, here's where mine ended up. Just a little left of the fairway. What's our number here, sir? 141 up the, or 136 up the hill playing 141. All righty. Matt actually ended up not too bad. He's in the bunker. Not sure if it hit the tree, came down, if he flew in there. We're not really sure. Couldn't really see anything, but you know what? You're okay. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wasn't planning the bank off the tree shot off the tee box after that birdie, but so far that seems to be par for the course. Oh, there it is. Just a little short. I didn't quite catch it. It was, it was right at it. How short is short? It's, it's chipping for sure. I'm actually going to go with like a little three-quarter nine iron, try to flight it down. So it looks like there's a little bank behind the pin. Oh, that looked good. Dude, that could be tight. All righty, here's where he ended up, putting back down the hill. Matt just a little short, chipping back up the hill. Oh, he may have, oh no. I thought it was gonna roll back down the slope. He needed it to stop like right here and it would have rolled all the way back down the hill. Well, I tried to bank it into the slope so I had a chance and uh overshot the target. Matt has a ton of break right here in this putt. That could be really good. That, oh boy, that didn't break. Really not bad though. A 
apparently Mr. Radford didn't remember the fact that my ball broke about 17 feet. <laughs> I know. I did not play enough break there. But that's good. You can have it. Two not down, good. two to go. Not the situation you want. All right. We're on to the eighth hole of the match. But this is hole number 10, part four, 418 yards, pretty straight away. Good target aiming point is going to be a little right of that bunker and let it fade. See if we can do a rally. Get two out of two in the last two. That was a lot of twos. Just a tie. That is flirting with trouble. But it landed soft. Should oh, be all right. Good. Should we're be good. just fine. Good. In the fairway here, 167 yards left, straight back into the wind. So I actually think I'm gonna go with a flighted down seven iron because this wind has been really strong today and any shot directly into the wind has been playing a long way. So seven iron it is. That was not a good swing right there. That is, that's right. <laughs> a little closer than Zach, 160-ish. Definitely into the wind. There's a lot of wind up there. I'm gonna hit seven, but I'm not gonna punch. I mean, I'm gonna hit yeah. seven. I think that's where I messed up. And I definitely left the door open for you. Can Matt capitalize? Yes. A two goes a long way for my two thing. <laughs> He oh, hit it. Oh, come on. That needs to go right. Ooh, shit. A little long. I was really hoping the wind would push it this way. Radford with a little chip. Oh, he hit it pretty good. A little work to do. Minus that slope. And that's not fair. That was huge. That was huge. Okay. All right, Matt up next. See what he can do. Oh. That needs to settle. And there it is. Ended up right next to my foot. That's disheartening. I was not anticipating this. This <laughs> is a must go. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, if, even if it drops, it doesn't look good. It's mostly just an ego thing if it goes in at this point. Doesn't break that much. Unfortunate. For the Senko. <clears throat> All right, Radford, to do what he's done to me a bunch of times in the past and to do it again to clean up the match. If I sneeze in his backswing, don't worry about it. He's a three putt from here. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Wasn't a three putt. Sir, good match. Enjoyed it as always. That was fun. Did end up winning. Can you lose three and one? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> I think you can. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thank you so much to Allison and Kurt for having us out here. This place is awesome. We had so much fun. Enjoyed the match, sir. Always enjoy these match style videos, so drop a like down below if you enjoy them as well. Helps me out to know what kind of content y'all like to see on the channel. That is it for me and Matt here at Simi Valley. We'll see you when we see ya. Peace.